Is this Clementine? You were dredged like a little page boy from England. You can talk to me. Oh no, you can't talk to me. I, I can't talk. Thanks for the pointing. Is it behind bars? Why does everything have to be so thick? I'm the only thing who could possibly have gotten through bars. Can't you just make everything normal? I can remember the beach, and with the power of remembering how much I want to live at the beach, I will overcome. It is October 11th. Everyone write that in your calendars. October 11th is the day of the apocalypse. So says Stray. Ah, we can go outside. Please don't give me any more sentinels. I don't like avoiding things. The key. And now we dangle it in front of her face until she promises to give us all the catnip she has stored away in her closet. Happy birthday. I love you. Do you love me? I'm a little dirty right now, but I will still accept at least 15 kisses. That was kind of loud. I'm not sure if you should have been a bit more gentle about that. Okay, we're leaving. I want to check out your place. You didn't get to invite me in before we leave. Pretty roomy. You don't have any mattresses, but you do have a toilet and a pile of dirt, so that's kind of that's kind of cool. You have the hacking skills. You have the ability to ram your face into this door until it opens. Oh, we have the keys. Okay, yeah, well. Still kind of a me thing. I'm still waiting for the point in which you do something cool. Lava room. Are you waiting to see if sentinels are here? You want me to jump down there? It's kind of seems kind of achy. Or are you just doing periods so that I can walk around and have a look? See? Whoa. Whoa, like really? B12 was so important to you that you had to put him on the ultra laser? You've got like a hologram of his face constantly beeping in and out? Hey, we have to save the robot though. What I'm gonna choose? You're not even gonna help me? I literally saved your life. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not doing it because I like B12, okay? I'm not a provitamins. I'm gonna save him because I can't speak English, and that is the only reason. I'm gonna get caught. Oh, you are gonna help? Okay, lift me up and throw me at the box. It is the easiest way to get around these lasers. Throw me. I trust your power. You're going in the wrong direction of throwing me. Clementine? Just because I can't speak English doesn't mean that you can't understand my instructions. Hmm. And then he closes the door behind me and I'm strapped forever. We have to be sneaky. The best way to be sneaky is to not allow a single one of your footsteps to actually touch the stairs that you are descending. It's fine, they can't catch you. They only know lifeblood. You have to have blood in order for those things to actually be able to see it. I've tested this. A hacker maneuver. They can't put so many hacker things all over the place. I keep feeling like I can be able to use them. Chair. Drawings. Sticky notes. Uh, entrance. I already did the whole stealth level. Ooh, snackums. We can't do this without extra energy. I could jump this. You're not just gonna let me jump it, because I can absolutely jump this. Can I just go through it? I guess. Oh! <laughs> oh no, okay, jump from this angle then. I could jump over that regular. I've jumped higher jumps than this. Come on, I have to go all the way up here to do this? Come on now. Untrue. Ooh, a sweet gentleman in a suit. I haven't seen a single man wearing a suit. I feel like these people are wasting their good monies. Fashion is the only thing they can- It's moving! Fashion is the only thing these people apparently can spend money on, because they don't have to eat. Can walk on this? Excuse me? Your laser means nothing to me. Neither does whatever is doing that. Ooh, hey, it means something to me, actually. Goodbye. Sprint! Ooh, zee bee bleh bleh. No, hey, stop moving. Stop. That's far enough. That's far enough, good sir. Up. And then, when this is down, it will switch my angle. That's what I thought. And down. Pizza box. Into the emergency room. 
which I could have sworn I was just in, honestly. A lever. This does something, surely. The cool thing is that these little drawing robots don't understand the difference between when things are on or off. So they're just like, hmm, I think that was right a second ago. Now it's nothing, but it doesn't matter. Now we have to kidnap him? There's like five guys staring at him and they're all yellow. I can climb. And then I can just sprint over there. Nope, you can't see me. You can't see me. How do I pick it up? Run, run! <laughs> well, how? what else am I supposed to do? I can't tackle the robots. I can't equip my laser. That guy was literally staring at him. I don't know how much time I actually have to actually have jumped up there. Anyhow. No, you suck. Checkpoints need to be further ahead. You guys can go back to your business. Uh, it's it's illegal to talk on the job. If you gather up too closely, your bosses will notice, and then you'll all get fired. You're gonna get written up for this. Are you trapped? I accidentally brought that one that was over there into this area. That seems like it's kind of worse for me. Oh, good, he left. Oh. Oh, wow, you got closer than I thought you were gonna get. Okay. He's going in a square. That man is not moving. So I think we're actually good? No, he does move. He periodically looks at him and then looks away. I'm gonna need you to look away faster than what you're currently doing. And then we backtrack that entire way. Is there an easier way to get home? I could keep going that way. I don't know if those windows are actually enterable. There's an open window right there. I think that's the way. All the lasers have turned off. Okay, uh, I think it's a little dangerous, honestly, to have your entire technology set up set up uh, via one lever. It was easily disabled. Hey, I got my friend. Please give me a vest. You missed the last stray video. What's happening? We just saved my little B12. Now I have all the vitamins I need to save the world. That's all you really need to know. Her fist says kiss me. Oh, you saucy girl. <laughs> We're best friends again. Okay, we have the vest of truth, and it is 100% cleaner than last time. I felt like I was trapped in my lab's computer system again, all alone. But you came back for me, I can't believe it. You're a good friend. I came back because I like to know what the robots are saying. I'm so glad we are all together again, but we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open the door just there? B12, do your thing. Prove that it was worth. Wait, wait a second. I thought the whole thing was that we were able to get out, but we made the decision to come back for B12. Are you telling me that we actually had to anyway? So this wasn't just like a good faith maneuver? Oh, cheese. Why is there so many cheese blocks in here? This is cheese, right? Could I, I want to click on it. Let me up. Q. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. You keep doing your thing. Look, I have the cheese blocks. You're going to use these to go through the door? Actually, it's a brick. Throw it at my face. You can't throw a brick at a metal door and expect that to do anything. Ah. That was really loud. You have bad decision making skills. Oh, you are gonna throw me. The plan's coming together. I knew it. I knew it. Please throw me. You're so cute. I'm on her head. And now I abandon you. Wouldn't that be, uh, fucking hilarious, though? Everything is lever-powered, luckily. It's an interesting concept that it seems like half of everything in this universe is run by, uh, hacking skills, and the other half is just a giant-ass lever somewhere on a door. Those sentinels are blocking the way, they will spot me instantly. Maybe you can try and bait them into those cells and lock them in. Maybe you can try to be a sacrifice and I'll, like, run past while they're chasing you. I mean, that sounds cool. Um... Kinda sounds like a complicated plan. Do I have to? Where are they? Someone's right there. Are you alive? Do you see that guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. Why are you even in here? This isn't even a prison cell. Okay, well, hey. Hey, man. Chase me. Chase me. I'm gonna get shot really quickly. Excuse me. Are you in here? Uh, I don't know if I can move that fast. Q? Q? Help me E! Do something! Oh, thank god. He's really slow. 
Stray Universe, Advanced, Hovering, Security Bots, and Lasers, also Stray Universe. Uh, system disabled by 1950s lever. And it's, like, really easy level, too. Like, in the nightclub, some guy just, like, pulled a lever off of the wall, and then I just put it back, and it still worked. You don't even have to have the right lever. You can just carry your own lever around, and you have access to, like, 50% of the universe. Okay, we're in baby jail. A memory. Is he dead? It's what I feared. They have completely erased him. No emotions. No more self-awareness. No more memories. Please, do not get caught. Are you gonna push me in here? Where's the cell? Wait, I haven't found the cell yet. Don't look at me. There's- uh, Oh, it's over there. I have to get both of them in here? I can sneak through the bars. Okay, plan acquired. Everyone look at me. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. What did I just say? Guys. Are they both in there? Get hacked, son? Mmm, delicious. Clement- Oh, wow, no! Hey, open the door, please! Excuse me. This is about to get a lot more difficult, because these guys are not very good at chasing people. Oh, shit, they're both coming now? Oh, my god. You can't shoot me. You can't shoot me. You can't shoot me. <laughs> it's my fault because one of you is slower than the other one, hmm? Is that what you're gonna say? You're gonna say I'm a failure because one of you guys is bad at your job? Open CC me, I will do better. I'm so sorry, Clementine. You trusted in me and I forget- They have a basketball court? Pretty fancy prison. These guys just sitting around, they could be playing basketball. Okay, we're in both senses of light. Don't shoot me. Oh, I- <laughs> I hit the wall. I gotta say though, when I was doing it the first time and I thought both of them were in there, I thought to myself very distinctly, I said, Thank you, Stray, for being actually, like, really easy. They actually care more about you progressing, so the puzzles are actually pretty easy, and you can generally, like, get past these guys pretty simply. I just have to trigger this one while also that guy's seeing me, which is just kind of hard. You don't shoot straight, you can't shoot straight. That's what I thought. Now... You cannot exit. Are you out? Are you out? Now we're good. Okay, Clementine, for realsies this time. There's a lot of people just hanging out. I don't know if these guys- come on! I don't know if they actually are monitoring anything. These guys are all over the place. Well done, locking up the sentinel. We gotta take the power back. The power... Hello! The visiting center. Um, Clementine, do you have a family? If you don't have a family, they're not gonna let anyone come visit us. I have, for one, uh, four uncles, none of which give a shit about me. In fact, our current goal is actually to get revenge, because I literally died in front of them and they didn't care. Stay alert, we aren't in the clear yet. I think we're pretty clear. Am I not talking proper English to you now? Are you gonna tell me to do something? Ooh, a secret vent. Uh, it's scary in here. Why am I gonna do all the dirty work? Very bright, okay. Um, ooh, perfect, lever. Every lever is also very conveniently located, directly next to something that I can reach, but nobody else can. This door. It's the only way out of here. Okay, open it then. I think we can open it from the control room over there. Okay, do that. We have to find a way to get access to the room, though. Let's look around. Hmm. You punch your robot hand through the wire, and then I can just jump in. Seems uncomplicated. There's no sentinels in here, right? Okay, we're chill. We are chill. Everyone calm down. There's no need to get excited. I see everyone in there is like screaming. If you yell too loud, my neighbor upstairs is going to get real cranky about it. The final boss is right outside of that door, so before we go, we have to make sure that our claws are exactly not sharp enough to kill anything. Because otherwise we have too much of an advantage, and it's just not fair. I'm not that kind of roller. I would like to find the obvious hole you're going to have somewhere. Hey Clementine, how about you just like fucking lift me over the fence? Like we just did five seconds ago? That could be cool. If you'd like to be useful. Or I could just walk around being lost. That also works. Can I climb the cones? I can push something. You're pushable. Yes. Clementine, ride the bike to safety. Okay, I'll, I will ride the bike to safety then. This is a keychain? We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Why is there a vehicle in here? Up in the back of the truck, you should be able to jump over the fence to access the security. Uh, you know what else I could do? Jump on your own head. 
could be easier. You just want to ride the car. Okay, comment time. If you just wanted to ride the vehicle, you could have just said so. I would have understood. Yee, let me up. It's still got working bot lights, too. And she smashes me against the fence and I die. Uh, I... Is this? That's all I needed? I needed that much of a bump? I swear to God, Clementine. That's the dumbest maneuver we could have gone through to get that to work. We didn't get to save that guy who was in jail. I hope it was like a side note that you could have done, though. A side note to save everyone in the prison. Half the guys in the prison didn't even follow us, so I guess I don't really care that much. Yeehaw! Oh, no, an alert. Luckily, the flying sentinels can't read and don't have a hive mind. Oh god, no, they're here! Oh, that's scary. No, hey, hey, about how about no, though? If you shoot me right here, I'm gonna be so peeped. Don't leave without me! You dangle! Come and die, you fuck wild. Get back here! Come and die and slow down! I hate you! Slow down for like five seconds. I literally just saw it for one second. Okay. You suck. She didn't even look. She didn't even like check her mirrors or anything. She was out of here. Wow, we were- I thought we were further away from the city, honestly. Don't mind us. Yep, check them out. We're definitely one of those people. Wow, the systems are easily distracted. Yeah, the animation during the cinematics is so fucking pretty. I love it. No! Why am I in prison? Why aren't you in prison? There's no way we'll make it with the sentinels on our trail. Uh, actually, we will easily. They stop to check every single person on the way here. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. You can literally come with me. There is no reason why you couldn't close the door behind you and then they couldn't get to the door. Nobody but me can get through doors, Clementine. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. Okay, then do it. Come with me. I'm just a cat. Don't waste your life for me. I'm literally just a cat. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get the outside, but one of us has to. Literally, though, this entire game, like, you kind of feel like this cat is smarter than most cats, because obviously I have to be to have done all this stuff. But imagine all these robots giving their life so that just a random tabby cat can, like, go upstairs. Go now. I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. I'll keep you in my literal brain. Ha, huh, I'm better than you. Mm, if you had only uh, walked through this door, they wouldn't have been able to get either of us. Okay, suave. Can I just uh, jump? Oh, do I have to jump from up there? I don't think I can get up there, actually. That's what I thought. Can I just simply climb? She gave me a key. None of the things I- there's just a hole. Hmm, so obvious. You say that was obvious? I say, well, I wasn't looking hard enough. I can turn on the subway. Let's drive a train, my guy. Beep beep. Where does the key go? The subway is double-sided. The key goes on this side. Obvious. Obvious. Hey now, the subway is supposed to be double-sided though. This? This box. Unplug the battery. I don't even need to open the doors. If I just turn this thing on, I'm pretty sure we could probably just ram straight into it. You're gonna make me check my inventory just to drive this train? You're gonna make me check the inventory just to drive this train? You think I can't drive the train without checking my inventory? Okay, fine. Examine. Subway key. Please uh, verbalize to me what to do with this. Thank you. It looks like you can start a subway car. Okay, sweet. I have a subway car and I have a key. Oh, thank you. Uh, that was useless. This. The recycling bin. They've hidden the entrance to the subway inside of one of the doors. I could go back to Ant Village and save my friends. How far is it willing to let me backtrack to go back to Ant Village? Or is the starting button actually just down here? Is this the correct thing to do? I would call for my friends from Ant Village, but I don't remember what any of you guys' names were. I remember Balthazar. He was, uh, he was the face. Huh? The battery! I forgot I had you. Ooh, it's Neko Corporation train? I don't want to use that. It's against my principles. Mmm. 
power was inside my backpack all along. Thank you, Balthazar, for making me feel nostalgic and want to go back to visit you such that I could find the battery so I could never visit you again. Very polite. Let me get on my seat first. Let me get on my seat first. Damn it. I'm gonna be flown all across this thing. Well, at least the door is closed. Okay, well. Choo choo. Um, sorry everyone who helped me along the way. I know that you guys are gonna live for eternity down in this hellhole, and I'm gonna live for maybe two more years up on heaven. But I would still say that was probably worth it. And I do think I was the one who deserved to be up here the most. Oh, my seat. I still have time. Control room. This is a whole nother level? To do what? I swear to god, if like ghosts or some sort of demon maneuver comes out inside this room, I'm gonna scream. I'll scream if you suddenly become a horror game. There's nothing to do on here. No, I'm missing it! I'm missing the screen! Wait, let me lock. Lo lo I won't let you let me up. Endure the world's safest city. That sounds honestly kind of ominous. Ominous. <gasps> There's robots on the heaven? And you're pristine. Hello, how may I help you? Can you take this train back downstairs and get all of the people who are trapped there? Helper 477? You don't have a personality, you have no name. The safest city has robots that are stinky. Aww. You're doing nothing. That guy's painting a cement wall that's otherwise completely unpainted. He's wasting his time. You guys are doing meaningless tasks because you have no personality because everything's too perfect here in Necocorp world. Walled City 99. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. That's me. That's I'm just a 99er, just like you guys. Ooh, a fancy science machine. You can order things off of the periodic table from here. It's a bit glitched right now. Did you guys murder all your humans and now you're acting innocent because you feel guilty about it? I'm currently painting this area. Please be careful with the wet paint. Have a nice day. If you're painting this area, why do you not have a paint can? Is it because the people on the first floor stole literally every one of them and you keep throwing them at them? Hmm? If that really is your real name? You look confused. That guy is sweeping nothing. The thing is, the biggest thing that we're sweeping all the time, we're still in a hole? <gasps> Whoa. That city is a lot bigger than I thought it was when we were down there. Look how plush it is up here, though. It's a pretty tree you got. How is it alive? The city has been sealed for your safety. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Hmm. It is Wally. We're just got to go talk to the wheel of the ship. You're holding a gun. Nope, you're holding a wiper. Hello, my current task is clean the window. How many years have you been cleaning this window? Enjoy the world safe. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. This door leads to the surface. It's currently locked to the con confinement procedure. Please refer to a certified engineer inside the control room. If you have any. I'm gonna go to the control room. I'm gonna get real huffed up. I'm gonna walk over there to talk to you guys' manager. And he's gonna be dead, isn't he? There's gonna be a dead human corpse inside the control room that I cannot talk to. I swear to God, if the control room engineer is dead, I'm gonna riot. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says only humans are authorized to enter. Hey, that's you, robot. It says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive. I'm a cat. I'm human's best friend. I can get in. If we work together... Okay, I have blood. And you are a human brain. So if you kill me and drink my blood and cover yourself in blood... And then use my body like a meat puppet... I think that they'll let you in. Hey, I forgot what you asked me to do. You said work together? Wait, what's this? A newspaper. What year is it? Can't read. Can I do what you're doing and you do the other side? Because I can't do this side. Okay, we'll take a gander. We'll see if I'm- Ah! Yes. I <laughs> this guy looked like furniture. How was I supposed to know that? Toss. You were a garbage bin? There were five garbage bins in that last place we were living in? Okay. Yes. Now fuck up those wires. Fuck them up! I am a human! Only a human could do this. Only a human could cause this much destruction in such a short period of time. Success. Okay, dead human who I'm sure is running this. Or robot who is... Scientist? 
This is a control room for the entire city. It controls everything. And it's empty. Yeah, because there's no king. There is no king. I remember hating them so much, they had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move, little good it did them. The plague, I remember now. I myself had the plague once. Everyone was dying and they thought they were all above it. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. They felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. I mean, you saved yourself, so I feel like there was a little bit to be done. Um, a little bit of a lost... I mean, yeah, some prioritizing definitely went down, I would say. Uh, not to be, like, rude or anything. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. You know who else can carry the memories? All of the robots that we could get to sing, uh, we will bring with us. We'll save them. They will come with us. Okay. I would like to type in, uh, let the people go. This looks like an astronaut thing. This is NASA. We're on the moon. Plot point. We're actually on the moon this whole time. This is it, the main computer. No, no, we're not on the moon, because I was actually up there. Okay, if I hadn't started outside, I would actually think we were on a spaceship this whole time, but that would be a little too close to Wally. I assume that's not why they did it. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We need to bring the rest of these systems online. It's a lot of systems. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. Okay, I'll do my sexiest dance, and you, like, jiggle around a little bit. That should do it. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Well, I do what? What? Well, I go just walk all over these? What do you mean, what if I go do that? I wonder if my friends can see me from here. Oh, I'm slowly zooming. City sealed. Well, everything is obviously already powered. So I don't think I really have to do anything, honestly. Just walk across all the screens. Ah! Excuse me. And this one. And this one. And please let me jump across all of these. Thank you. Oop. Ow. Sorry. I said ow because I felt insulted. Honestly, it's your own fault. Beep, beep, and boop. I'm a success. Nope, I lost one. I am now a success. Ground control, we have takeoff. It worked, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Okay, do it. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Hmm, the materializer. Roof control station. If you open the roof, acid rain is going to fall into the city and kill everybody. That's there. That's the workstation. Open the city. But there's several layers of security preventing us from doing it. Is the security, uh, Zorks? Now we need to do what we do best. Me? I'll hack the machine. You? Destroy some stuff. What do you mean, destroy stuff? What part of this stuff needs to be destroyed for this to open? All of these screens? I can shove this. Is that helpful? Woo! I've revealed some scratchables. I, I gotta say, I, I do not see a world in which me destroying half of the computers actually assists in an opening. <laughs> Good job. Ooh! Ting. The system is taking more than I expected. You're gonna die. God damn it. He's gonna die. He's gonna open all the things and the fifth one is gonna explode or something and it's gonna kill him and he's gonna be like, go on without me and I'm gonna be like, okay, literally nobody. We've got to keep going. I know that. Just scratch it. Straight up. Some weak ass metal you got here, kid. Okay. Good. Good enough. And now you're gonna get zapped by this one again, and the third one is gonna kill you. Just like do this, but like a little further away. Stop standing on the electrical poles. Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up this workstation. No, you can't. You're lying to me. Q. Oh, it's an upstairs. This one's fancy. There's at least one more, so we're not separating yet. Oh, that one didn't even shock- that one shocked you after that was delayed. I- I, I think it is- this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be alright. Just carry me to the works issue. We can disable that alarm. Uh, you'll be alright how? You just told me that your body's gonna die. In what world, like, how- what- you're gonna upload yourself to the city? He's gonna run the city from the inside. 
Um, I don't remember where you just told me to go. Was it to this? Perhaps? This is where I found you. City sealed. Okay, now upload your system and we're safe. No one was coming to get us anyway. I don't know how we were not safe. Like, alarms were going off, but there's no sentinels up here. I knew the power required to disable the city central control system would be immense. More than this drawing can probably handle. With the security now disabled, I can get control of the system and open the city. If already, it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into the first computer and the consequences it would bring. I'm sorry we can't go to the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I can see a future in companions and you. Have you finally realized that you need to stop being specious and allow the real robots to, like, be actual people and stuff? Here, let me take that off of you. Not my sweater vest. I was going to remember you by this. You were my friend. The very best I could have asked for. Thank you. No, I'm meowed. Goodbye, my squiggly boy. You were pretty cute. You look like a toy, honestly. We can bring him with us. We can take that corpse. He's not gonna, like, rot or anything. Oh, we're not gonna leave either? At least the robots get to be released. And we open this, and just the entire ocean pours into the city, and it turns out we're underwater the entire time. Oh my goodness. Cutscene to all the robots leaving, please. Also somehow, um... Also somehow the prison, uh, breaking open and all the prisoners cut out too. The Zorks are allergic to sunlight. Insta-kill. No, no, just die. Come on. Yes! Yes! The thing that that guy invented was just like a UV plant light the entire time. Ah, oh, Rainbow Face. I forget your name. Momo? Was it Momo? Guy with hat? Mushroom Man? I loved you. You're my best friend, Mushroom Man. And you guys are immune to the plague. Okay, the sentries also are far allergic to sunlight. That's lucky. Thank you. You guys have an entire world of, like, dead human stuff to, like, handle now. If one of you could, like, throw a rock up here and break this window, that would be, like, very convenient for me. I thought I could bring you. In fact, I know I could bring you, uh, but the world is not letting me do it. Have a rest. Wait a second. Yeah, there's a sunlight now, but we, how are we gonna get up there? The, are the walls gonna come down? We can't get out of this. We have to spend the next, like, 50 years of these robots' lives building the biggest staircase in the universe? How do I leave? <laughs> Am I just trapped? No, I'm not trapped. Okay, robots, you're free! You can go have a personality now. Congratulations! I did it for you! You stopped watering this tree. I guess I could go down. Is the wall breaking now? The wall is lifting. Oh, I've made the wall worse than it used to be. That's not good. I assume I'm not supposed to still be in there, right? I could use the bathroom. Oh, the door. So obvious. <laughs> Goodbye. Have fun bowing for the rest of your life. All right, Panda. I hope you didn't ruin the squad while I was gone. I know that you can get kind of riley, and I'm the only person on the team who's willing to say against your word. I'm like the anchor point. Butterflies! Dinner is served. Two doves were making love where I was standing right there. I am in tidy need of a bath, my friends. If only there were three cats here to lick me clean. You could be with the robots. Oh, sequel. Sequel. 
that little blitz right there was supposed to be signifying that he has been absorbed into the computer and is still alive. That was the blitz of hit of hope. The blitz of hope, I say. This is beautiful music. Okay, though, issue, issue, point taken. I opened a giant hole in the ceiling. So the robots get to have, oh, it's because the Zerks are gone. The people at the, at the lowest level can now go upstairs because we killed all the Zerks, which were previously doing things. Okay. Because I was going to say, like, I didn't save anyone. They're all still in those different areas. They're just, like, able to see the sun now, which is, like, beneficial, but doesn't, like, it's not, like, the wider issue. The real thing is, though, A, we didn't even get to see our cat brethren again. So, all we know, they're dead. You know, they could have been eaten. They could have been smashed. They could have just, uh, left. I mean, we were obviously relocating before I fell, and I can't really assume that they waited for me or knew where to pick me up from this exit door, so we might never find each other again. Bye hi, cats. <laughs> I am actually going to be getting a cat very soon. I am getting a kitten. She's going to be here next week, and despite the fact that my entire life I have adored the concept of naming things, and like, the one reason Pokemon was one of my favorite franchises is because I loved naming things so hard that I would name every Pokemon I caught, and it took me, like, over a month to get to a decision that was, like, vaguely okay with me. New cat just dropped. It's a ragdoll kitten. It's a ragdoll kitten as of current. Name is Jester. You should name it Glimbus. Mmm. Okay, we'll put it to a vote. Glimbus versus Jester. Would anyone like to vote on these two options? Uh, Glimbus versus Jester. Scribble. Scrimble. Scrimble. Glimbus. Two scrimble, one vote to Jester. I vote for Jester too. I my vote counts. I am not a third party in this argument. Scrim scrimblester. Oh god, that sounds horrendous. Scrimblester. It sounds like a blister. 